What's up everyone, you are watching Texarec and in today's video, I'll be showing you the best settings for Skyline Emulator app. This is going to be a really nice video because I'm going to show you every single detail, all the pros and cons for every single setting that you are ever going to need to optimize your game. So first things first, let me just go ahead and open my app. So as you might have noticed, I'm having the Skyline Edge version. Now note that even if you are having the normal version, these settings would still work. So just continue. So I'll just go upon a open my settings so as you can see these content settings are necessary in appearance settings there is an option which might uh, spike some interest in you always show game information now let me tell you what is the use of this option if i just keep it on and try to open a game i'm going to see this kind of display and if this option was off the game would directly start rather than showing any kind of information so it is optional and won't affect any kind of performance but then I'm just going to keep it turned on. So now in the system uh, option, this docked mode is really necessary. Let me tell you something about it. Use of dock mode is to prevent major glitches. In other words, it is to prevent uh, the game to look uh, creepy by preventing all the bugs and glitches that are going to occur during a gameplay. And it also stops it from crashing. So if you just keep it on, the game is going to look uh, crispier and better. But I'll just keep it off is because this is the reason of some game crashes. So alright, now I'll just go to the display section and showing performance statistics is really important to turn it on is because this won't affect any kind of performance but it is going to show the amount of FPS that we are getting. Now come upon this option, use maximum display refresh rate. Now keeping use maximum display refresh rate will allow your emulator to access the maximum amount, amount of refresh rate that your display supports. In my case it is 90Hz so if the FPS has to go over 30 FPS which is by default in the Skyline emulator it will still reach but I would recommend you to keep it turned off is because here it is written will break most games but in reality it is almost going to break 100% of your game so keeping it turned off is much better. Now I'll just come down and as you can see this option respect display cutout I'll just turn it on and here is the aspect ratio uh, keeping the aspect ratio uh, stretched is really necessary and recommended in my opinion it's because of the modern devices uh, are better with this rather than any other kind of option and if you just go ahead and using GPU driver configuration is also recommended but in my case I'm using a Mali GPU so I won't be able to access it but if you are having a Adreno go ahead and choose the best driver according to your device alright guys so after checking this option right here we are going to check these two options these are really necessary I'm going to keep it till 6 and you also have to keep it uh, complete up to whatever your device supports and executor fresh, flush threshold now this by default is approximately around 200 to 500 but uh, setting it to maximum is really necessary. Alright the next setting use direct memory import. Keeping it off is really necessary won't recommend you to do it. Force maximum GPU clocks. What you have to do is just enable it. In my case I am unable to access it is because I am using a Mali GPU but still even. But in case if you are having a different GPU then go ahead this is really ne recommended. What this will do is it will let you it will let your emulator access 100% of your GPU. Alright so if we just scroll down and now let us come to hack section and enable all these three options. Enable fast GPU read back, enable fast read back writes, disable GPU subgroup shuffle. These options are very necessary because the upper two will let your uh, will increase the uh, reading and writing speed of your GPU that is the uh, that is basically the time that the GPU is going to take before that the GPU and the emulator are going to take during their communication 
so it is necessary so these were the main settings that i used for the optimization you are free to use them as you want so that is it for today's video guys i hope you like it and enjoy it and if this video helped you then to subscribe my channel and like this video